the French automaker spoke about his new hypercar, which will receive a classic internal combustion engine. We are talking about a completely new model, and not about another version of the Chiron already shown. Back in August 2021, at Monterey Car Week, Mate Rimmick told real estate magnate and Bugatti car collector Manny Hoshbin about plans for a new hypercar. At the time, he did not go into details, but only said that a completely new model, which will appear after Chiron, is in development and may appear in 2024. Fast forward to January 2022, the CEO of the newly founded Bugatti Rimac company is ready to share much more information about the new product. He promises that we will be surprised by the new hypercar, which will have previously unseen features for production cars. I also insist on the internal combustion engine. One question arises from this statement, will the Chiron receiver retain the mighty W? If Lamborghini can save the V for the Aventador's successor, we can only hope that we will continue to see a four-cylinder 8.0-liter engine that meets increasingly stringent emissions standards. Of course, the preservation of the internal combustion engine does not mean that the next Bugatti will abandon electrification. The next V-car from the Italian Lamborghini will be a hybrid, and we will not be surprised if the same happens with the Chiron receiver. The massive W engine, which will underpin the hybrid power plant, will create an instantly powerful and heavy car, taking into account that the Super Sport 300 already has an incredible ape. Judging by previous statements, the founder of Rimac is open-minded about the future of Bugatti. Last year, he said he could do something crazy or something absolutely crazy that no one is thinking about. A coupe with a long holder even and silver being considered, while a purely electric car using the know-how of the Navera is most likely a matter of time, not opportunity. If you liked the video, you can always support me with a subscription or a like, thank you and see you tomorrow.